Is it true? Michael Von Gerwen, who has been cheating unseen during darts matches for years. Whether this is deliberate or to his advantage, we will show you today. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. This is a photo from the final of the 2001 PDC World Grand Prix. PDC arenas and stages have clearly got much bigger, but what key design feature is different on modern stages? Well, if we take a look at the stage from the recent Masters, it might become clear. The key difference concerns the carpet, which may sound rather boring, but it's actually very important. If we take a look at it side by side, there's now a clear different coloured area of carpet directly behind and around the Oki. Let's start by looking at the crucial reason why that was introduced. We need to go back to a first round game in the 2002 PDC World Championship between number three seed Rod Harrington and 1983 world champion Keith Deller. Early on in the game, the players had an argument, with Rod accusing Keith of having his foot in a distracting position when he was collecting his darts. Harrington said Keith was taking his time leaving the hockey and also kicking his back leg up after his last start. However, he admitted that he was probably getting up there a bit too quickly. Rod got annoyed and began to kick Keith in the heel when he was throwing. He initially denied doing this in an interview at the time, but in a 2018 interview, Della stated that Rod had admitted to kicking him twice in the game during a round of golf. At the time that happened, the stage looked like this with no colour carpet surrounding the hockey. By the time the next World Championship came around, that had changed and the stage looked like this with the introduction of what is now known as the exclusion zone. In the current DRA rulebook, it states that it should be 300mm on either side of the hockey and 900mm behind it. It says that after throwing, players must retrieve their darts, walk to the right, and get out of the area as soon as possible. The next player can't enter the zone until their opponent has released their final dart, and can't throw their own darts until the previous player is out of the zone. The rulebook also states that second referees watch for exclusion zone infringements, which are often hard for a referee to spot alone. During the broadcast of the most recent World Series of Darts Finals, the ITV team took a look at the second referee's position, where Kirk Bevins was sitting. Kirk explained that all TV games have a second referee backstage, who has direct contact with the referee on stage. These second refs have monitors focused on the exclusion zone, and Kirk said that players are given one or two exclusion zone warnings before the DRA are informed, which could lead to a financial penalty. He also explained that referees have the power to dot players' leg if they continually enter the exclusion zone, although that's never happened in the history of the PDC. Recently, many fans have been pointing out that Michael Van Gerwen regularly has a part of his foot in the exclusion zone when his opponents are throwing. A reply to that Reddit post says that his toes are often or always on it. The post also says that some players are intimidated by it, but that most ignore it. Someone who didn't ignore it and called MVG out was Dimitri van den Berg in the semi-final of the 2023 World Championship. During the third set of their game, at which point Dimmy was 2-0 down, it was clear on the cameras that Michael had part of his foot in the zone when the Belgian was throwing. At one point, Dimmy stepped back towards Michael and looked over at him. The pair exchanged words and then Dimmy shook his head. Michael didn't move his foot. Dimmy was clearly angry at something, but he went on to lose 6-0, with MVG averaging 108. In his post-match press comments, MVG was asked if Dimmy had accused him of encroaching in the exclusion zone, to which he responded that the claims were not true, and Dimmy instead said that he'd been stamping. Whilst that may be true, Michael was clearly in the exclusion zone at times, which would have made any stamping more obvious. The reason I'm making this video is because over recent weeks, social media and the media has been filled with posts about Van Gerwen's potential rule breaking, which was most talked about during the final of the Berlin Premier League night, when Mighty Mike beat Luke the Nuke. The game went to an 11th and final leg, where against his throw, Littler managed to step up to the hockey with three darts at 80 for the match. He hit the triple 20, leaving two darts in his favourite double 10. Luke then surprisingly stepped back and the camera angle changed, meaning the viewers could clearly see the front of Van Gerwen's foot was in the zone at such a key moment. Luke went on to miss the two shots, 
during which MVG remained in the zone. MVG went on to win, and many fans tweeted about Van Gerwen standing in the zone, which neither the referee or Luke complained about. Fans on Reddit also called out MVG standing in the zone during the following Premier League night in Glasgow. In the past, the PDC have been shared photos that show Michael with his toes in the zone. Why is he seemingly never called out? Well, it could be because players simply don't notice it, but there have been some occasions where they have. Like in his 2017 World Match Play quarterfinal against Phil Taylor, where in the seventh leg, after missing multiple shots of double, Phil looked back, pointed, and seemed to accuse Michael of standing and stomping in the zone. Whilst it's easy for players of Taylor's stature to call out what they perceive to be gamesmanship, it might be far scarier and riskier for low rank players. So, why don't the officials seem to do anything? Well, we have seen referees get involved at times, but not in a big, memorable moment involving Van Gerwen. When Ralph John Rodriguez was playing John Cullen in the first round of the 2022 Players' Championship Finals, referee Hugh Ware had words for him about walking in the exclusion zone, insinuating that he was putting Joe off. This put Ralph off and annoyed him as Cullen was yet to complain. Raub ended up going 5-2 down and looked very frustrated. In the final leg, he was throwing far faster than normal and not using his normal action, making it look like he'd given up and wanted to get off the stage as soon as possible. Following the game, Raub still looked angry and Colin backed him up by explaining that he'd done nothing wrong. He stated that Raub was not affecting him at all. He felt that the timing of the intervention was odd as he felt Hugh should have waited until the end of the leg. Therefore, players don't always want the referees to get involved if they're not being distracted, as it could just make an awkward situation. In the past, we have seen retrospective action taken by the DRA, such as when they found Adrian Lewis guilty of entering the exclusion zone, which could be construed as gamesmanship at the 2010 World Grand Prix, which he was fined for. Therefore, it's clear that the officials have the power to call players out for exclusion zone breaches, both during or after games. And with modern camera technology, it's clearly visible when players commit an infringement. So, it's likely that Van Gerwen isn't punished for repeated offences, as they're not seen as gamesmanship, and his opponents rarely notice or report him. In addition, it could be true that the action is only likely to be taken if far more of the foot is in the zone, rather than just the toes, which in the vast majority of cases is what MVG does. Michael likely likes to stand around the exclusion zone to maintain a fast speed and allow himself to get to the hockey as fast as possible, as he likes to play in games with a consistent pacey rhythm. Therefore, I don't think in any way that Michael does is cheat but instead, he does it as he likes to play in quick games, which for us fans are always good to watch. Don't forget to hit the bullseye, so you never miss any of our great darts videos. Click on the bell icon to never miss any of our videos. We hope you enjoyed, until next time.